burger. <clears throat> nom, 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 nom. Whatever. Okay. So my case was A&M versus Napster, but I wanted to make this project fun, so I decided, I made a book by the way, I decided to call my book called The People Who Share Too Much by Melanie Maherg. Page one. Once upon a time there was a country named Napster. Its people loved to share music. The first battle proved costly for the country of Napster. A&M Records was able to prove that the country of Napster violated many copyright laws. More than 80% of music files were being shared in the kingdom of Napster. And right there you got a picture of the kingdom of Napster. Page 2. One day the people began to share a song entitled I Disappear by Metallica. This song was not yet released in the magical kingdom. There's Metallica, page three. A month later, the people of Napster also began to share many of Dr. Dre's songs. And there's Dr. Dre with a music note. I made personally. My favorite page. Metallica and Dr. Dre <laughs> anchored with the news of copyright infringement of their songs traveled to the land of Napster. They wanted the sharing of music to stop. All prepared for battle, Metallica requested backup from an army called A&M Records. There's Dr. Dre and Metallica heading to that land. Page 5. A&M came to war protected by their contributory and vicarious infringement armor. And then there they are heading to battle with their... Weapons. Yeah. Due to the fall of Napster, during the first <clears throat> battle, Napster was given a list of music that was illegal due to copyright infringement. Napster was ordered by the lower courts to block the music that was determined illegal by A&M Records. There's the list with an X over it. Representing, do not download. Stop it. Stop. The people of Napster, <coughs> upset with the ruling of the court, decided to venture to the land of Court of Appeals. Here, the neutral land of court decided to affirm the primary injunction and reverse part of the district court's decision. There's the magical land and then head into it. The Court of Appeals. Page 8. God, this book is heavy. Well, while in the land of court, the people of Napster create a strategic plan to fight the army of A&M records. Their attack plan was to use weapons of fair use. They armed themselves with weapons such as sampling, space shifting, and permissive distribution of recording. They also carried weapons of the Home Recording Act, the Digital Millennium Act, and their First Amendment rights. And then there's all the weapons that they used. Well, most of them. Armed to the teeth, the people of Napster went to retaliate against A&M Records. And there they are going at it. Not like that. <laughs> you pervs. <laughs> <laughs> A fierce battle ensued. At the end of the battle, the people of Napster were defeated and were no longer permitted to share their music. Later, they paid music artists and music publishers $26 million. The people of Napster have been sad ever since. There's that guy just, you know, giving them the money. I'm in the money. The end. Oh, well, I guess, no, because yeah, I, I got to... You got to still talk about it. Yeah, I got to, um, I... <laughs> and then I have to explain what contributory vicarious infringement is in the Digital Millennium Act and the Home Recording Act. I just, I zoned out. <laughs> That's it!